In this video, we're going to go over the MCAT Biological and Biochemical Foundations of Living Systems section of the exam. The Bio-Biochem section is the third section of the exam, and you'll take it right after the 30-minute lunch break. So on test day, you definitely want to make sure that you don't eat a lunch that makes you feel sleepy during this section. The MCAT Bio-Biochem section is 65% biology, 25% biochemistry, 5% general chemistry, and 5% organic chemistry. As you can see, the majority of the questions are on biology, and the biology topics tested are split about 50-50 between molecular and cell biology, the small stuff, and physiology, the organ systems. When you're applying for medical school, it's true that you're only required to take one year of general biology with lab. However, the unfortunate news is that one year of general biology with lab usually will not cover these topics to the level of detail that you need to know for the MCAT. So if you can, try to take some additional advanced biology courses. And physiology, genetics, cell biology, microbiology, really any advanced biology course will help. It's not required, but will definitely help with the bio-biochem section. Okay. Now, the bio-biochem section can be challenging for a lot of students, and here are a few reasons why. Number one, this is the third section of the exam. You're starting to get fatigued after already taking two whole sections, the chem phys and the car section of the MCAT. But the time constraints are the same as all the science sections. It's still 95 minutes and 59 questions. So one way to help with this issue of fatigue is when you're studying for the MCAT, make sure you're taking full length practice tests. All right, as you take more and more full length practice tests, you get used to taking a seven and a half hour exam, and that's gonna help you maintain focus throughout all four sections of the exam. Another reason why the bio, bio chem section is difficult is because there's quite a lot of content you need to have memorized here. For example, in biology, you need to know all your hormones. There's quite a list of hormones, and for each hormone, you need to know what is the organ or gland that secretes it, what are the target organs that have the hormone, what are the effects of those hormones, and what causes those hormones to be released in the first place. As an example for biochemistry, you've got all of your metabolic pathways, glycolysis, citric acid cycle, electron transport chain, gluconeogenesis, glycogenolysis, glycogenesis, pentose phosphate pathway. There's a lot you have to have memorized. So if you recognize that these are pathways that you need to have memorized, you can start the memorization early on. So that way you don't have to stress out as much about this memorization near the end. Another reason why the MCAT bio, bio chem section is difficult is because many of the passages in this section are adapted from peer reviewed scientific journal articles. So they often have a lot of science jargon and are often introducing these figures and graphs that students that don't have much research experience may not be familiar with. And it's one thing to know that Western blood separates proteins, Southern blood separates DNA, and Northern blood separates RNA, but that doesn't really tell you why scientists use these techniques in the first place. So to really be able to better understand these passages, there's a couple things you can try. Number one, if you can get research experience working in a basic science laboratory, that would definitely help. Having hands-on experience helps a lot. So instead of just understanding conceptually how the techniques work, you've actually done them yourselves. Um, another thing that you can do is to try reading some scientific journal articles every so often, just so you get used to the language and seeing the figures of the results of some of these techniques. So that way you're used to reading uh, a gel and knowing what the different lanes and bands are. Okay, so that's the MCAT bio, bio chem section. 